Hey, what is up guys? It is Silver One, and before we get into the topic I want to cover today in this video, um, just a little bit about what you're watching. It's a pen freestyle, so I just went straight to the paper. Um, I didn't sketch it out or anything, didn't have any idea what it was going to look like. Um, the word is silver, by the way, uh, all spelled out, or silver one, yeah. And I timed it, and I tried to get it under 15 minutes, and you can see... I didn't cheat or anything. Um, the video will be sped up because obviously you don't want to sit here for 15 minutes. But I did have the timer, so you can't tell. Um, and that's why maybe it's a little sloppy or anything. But I still think it came out pretty cool, and I thought it was a neat thing to try. Anyways, um, in this video, I got a question on my Facebook fan page. He sent me a message, and he said, Hey there, I've seen a few of your YouTube videos and have subscribed to your Facebook page. Just wondering if you had any tips on someone new to black book work and graffiti. He said he has a real passion for it, the look of it, the art, the history. It's such a great art form and expression. Ism. I'm not really into big bucks at the moment, and I have no job or anything, so supplies are hard to get. But I just wondered if you could give me any ideas or tips where to start, and if there's anywhere for a good tutorial or books and such. Thanks, man. Alright, so the first thing I want to address is his supplies. Um, he said he's not really rolling in the dough. Um, that's understandable, not many of us are. Um, basically, uh, especially like in the video you're watching, all I use is a pen and a piece of paper. So you can really get started with anything. You don't have to have all the markers. You don't have to have all the nicest spray paint. You know, you can definitely start out with like Painter's Touch and Krylon and everything. And that's in fact recommended that you do. But you don't even have to start out painting, which I don't recommend. I recommend you start out sketching. But for supplies, you don't really need anything special. You can just get right into it. You definitely shouldn't let that hold you back as to starting. All you need is a pen um, and some paper. Um, the next thing I want to say um, is that you want to start simple with your letters. Um, I'm going to put a piece up here I had on my last channel uh, that I did maybe about a year ago. I don't know, a while ago. And look at that. That's crazy. It's got extensions everywhere. You can't really see the letters. And I thought that was dope at the time. And, uh, you know, I started out and my letters were kind of like bubbly. And then they got crazier and crazier because I thought that was cooler. And because, I mean, as a beginner, you just want to go from, like, sketching your first day to, like, being crazy good at the end of the week. You know, you don't want to have to accept the fact that it's going to take time. So, but now I'm realizing, like, especially in this um, piece I did, you know, it's not that crazy. It has a few extensions, but really it's just about the letters. And uh, that's what you'll come to realize. So I really recommend staying away from wild style because it'll limit the development of your style. Um, not so much in the fact that you'll just, like, not know what to do, but the fact that you'll get stuck with this crazy thing that's not good, that you think is good. But later on, you'll realize, you'll be like, what the hell was I doing? So, skip all that, save yourself some time, and just start simple. And that also goes hand in hand with my third tip, which is find a way to get feedback on your artwork. Um, he mentions later in another video that there's not many people around him that do graffiti. He doesn't know anyone that does. Um, and that's, you know, that's the same with me. A lot of us are in that boat. Um, what I recommend is finding a place where you can post your... Um, your pictures of your graffiti. Um, for me, that place was YouTube. Uh, you can go on like 12 Ounce Profit, though. You can go on Bombing Science, the forums, and they have places where you can get critiques. You can do name exchanges, and it'll be a really good place because the people there uh, will not um, pump up your ego for you. They will definitely tell you what's wrong, what's good, and uh, what to work on. So that'll help you. That'll help develop your style better and uh, keep you from going in the wrong direction. And uh, my fourth tip is to work on all aspects of like the graffiti don't just do a piece and do just just the letters even though mainly the letters is what you want to be working on don't just do just the letters um, make sure you finish your pieces like add a 3d um, do your outlines um, add a fill-in I know a lot of people aren't going to say fill-ins are that important especially when you're starting out and yeah you can burn a piece in black and white definitely agree with that but I'm realizing now that uh, my feelings suck um, on this channel. You probably have not seen very many from me. Um, and that's because I hate doing them because I never got good at them because I never practiced them. So I recommend you do practice that um, and you practice all aspects so you know you're not finding out that you wished you would practice something. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you. 
Um, for those beginners out there, I hope you learned something. And if you guys already know all this, which most of you probably do, um, as you're better than me or at the same level, I hope you enjoy the speed art. Um, don't hate too harshly on the fact that it, the lines are messy and stuff. I, I did do it in 15 minutes, um, literally. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad to be back. Thanks for watching.